Welcome to beautiful Naples, Florida, along the Paradise Coast. And easy to see why they have given it that name. So many options to entertain yourself down here in Southwest Florida. And one of those, the annual pilgrimage to East Naples Community Park for the Minto US Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. We have reached Friday, Fat Tire Friday here inside Zing Zang Championship Court. Dave Benz, Melissa McCurley, Chad Edwards, happy to be along with you for this live stream on this Friday. We will transition later tonight to CBS Sports Network for some live national television coverage as well. But we picked this one up in the Women's Pro Doubles Division semifinals. And there's a look at the bracket. Anna Lee Waters and Lee Waters, the number one seed, they are into the semifinals, as are Butler Humberg and Jarjing Harris. So the last spot in the semis will be decided between the teams of Todd Newell and Fudge Trong. And they are on the court right now in game three, tied at 5-5. Five, five. So the next six points are going to decide a berth in the semifinals. Let's pick up this live action right now on Zing Zang Championship Court. And that is Todd and Newell in the far court. Fudge and Trong are in the near court. And right now 5-5-1 five, five, with Todd and Newell. Uh, actually, it is Fudge and Trong taking over the serve right now at 5-5-1. Five, five, so flip that. Flip. Yeah, flip that graphic around. No, 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 no. Flip flip what you just said. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that, Todd, I, yeah. Todd and Yule are in yeah, the red. Yeah, everything is, everything is, I, I said everything backwards. I was like, <laughs> it's off, opposite day. It is it's opposite day. It's fat tie Friday, and Dave's already hit the, hit the well, fat tie. I'm, I'm trying to look at the graphic and trying to, yeah, you're right. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> that's Paris Todd on the, on the right, <laughs> alongside her, her teammate and on the the far side, you've got uh, Fudge and Trong, and uh, that is Alex Trong on the left, and Megan Fudge on the right on the far side of the court. So 5-5-2 five, five, in the side out. We'll get it back over to Fudge and Trong. And guys, it has been a fun week, and uh, boy, this is just, we, we're getting into the best part of the week. All week long, everybody's been coming up to us and asking us, when is Anna Lee going to play? When is Anna Lee going to play? And we wait till Friday, wait till Friday, Saturday, and uh, it, she is not disappointed. No, and we have something new here this year, and I'll talk a little bit more about it after this point. Strong after the speed up by Todd. Yeah. Oh, the power on display, and uh, the winner gets hit by Newell. Yeah. Now, I was just going to say, Todd throws out a paddle right here, but Newell right there with the two hander. This has been the back and forth battle here across both games, now uh, continuing in game three. And Paris Todd slams it home, so the side out gets it back over to Todd and Newell. So what I was going to say, we have something new here this year called Follow Players. So spectators and fans can come sign up through WhatsApp and follow any player that they want. And people have been asking how to follow, follow Annalise since we got here on Saturday. Oh, that's fantastic. And Trong able to handcuff Newell there, so we'll move to the second serve. And has that been... Uh, getting used a bunch? A, a bunch. The last check, we had about 3,000 downloads. Wow. Unforced error there, and another side out. That's a good spot from Fudge going deep into the backhand of Todd. That ball just got a little bit behind the left foot. So Yana Newell takes over the serve here at 5-5. This is a pretty good match for us to be joining in progress, guys. It's an excellent match. And we have a huge crowd in here today as well, getting the opportunity to see these ladies put their talents on display on this Zing Zing Championship court. It's been that way all week. I mean, it, it's just unbelievable how few people have jobs here in Southwest Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
That one oh, got, she got it. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, she left that one up just a little bit too high for Paris. Well, if you look at the housing market down here in Naples, um, there's no shortage of growth, shortage of growth. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so that's where all these people are coming from. Chong just trying to do a little too much there, trying to catch Newell's shoulder as she's transitioning forward. We'll go into the end change. Todd and Newell up 6-5. Back after this quick Takea hydration break. The U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude, Margaritaville, and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude, Margaritaville by Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs with the Viper Court Pro. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. And by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. You go. Back here inside Zing Zang Championship Court. On the day they call Fat Tire Friday, leading up to Championship Saturday. At 6-5 on the end change right now with Todd and Huell, or Todd and Newell, excuse me, in control. And, you know, one thing that we've seen this year versus last year, guys, is um, last year there really, I don't know if there were any PPA players last year, but there are more PPA players that have found a way to get back into this tournament this year. And that is really a, a pleasure to see. Yeah, I think it's just great here at the US Open. Um, it's a, a tournament that's truly open. It's about uh, inclusivity and people having an opportunity to be a part of you know the premier event in all the world. So to see the variety from year to year is pretty special. And that's what Chris Yvonne and Terry Graham and Jim Ludwig all had in mind when they got this thing going back in 2016. So out of the end, change 6-5-1. Ooh, she wants that one back. You will just lunch at that one. Well, we talked about on Wednesday with the record of 982 players. That was larger than the 2016 US Open. <laughs> it was, and we actually have five days of over 900 players playing each day. Um, unbelievable, Chad. Nice shot there from Chong for the winner in the side out. Yeah, I can't imagine why you were a little bit busy. Uh, no, but I have the very best team in all of pickleball Five here with one. me and Nicole Hobson, Dee Davis, and Marin Holiday and April Price. We've been doing this one together as a team for four years. They're not very experienced. <laughs> Ooh. Paris leaves that one a little bit short. That was a good change of pace there from Tron. Just taking a little bit off of it as she rolled it cross court. Todd thought she was going to attack it. Instead, Trung just found the knee, uh, the feet. So six all in this, the third game. And then into the internet as Trung a little bit off on her timing on that one. Well, I'm surprised Trung didn't slide to the right there and hit the two hand backhand. That's her strength. Newell caught her while she was just sitting on the forehand, went cross body, and jammed her up. And the side out. This thing is looking like uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to predict this goes past 11. I six, could six, be four. holding it now 6-6. Six, six. We will have another women's doubles match coming up following this one and then uh, switch over to the men's doubles and some big names on championship court today. Harris now a chance to make it 8-6. And one of those big names we're going to see is Kyle Yates, by the way, who's uh, won many championships right here on this court. Great firefight at the net. Oh, that was all defense from Newell, but a smart move there from Fudge. 
Ewell and Todd started coming back up to the kitchen and Fudge made it look like she was going to go soft and then just a quick speed up behind Ewell. Six, seven, one. Two-handed backhand was unable to be returned, so moved to the second server here. Six, seven, two. That's deep, tied at seven. A good counter attack there from Trong. Recognizing the speed up from Todd, got it back on it quickly. That paddle just a little too open from Todd. Todd back here in 2024 after taking a triple crown in 2023 here at the U.S. Open. And she's not going to have an opportunity to repeat that triple crown this year. She was unable to make singles um, on Sunday. So since I uh, did not take a look at it, I'm going to ask you my prep work live on air. Who, uh, who did take singles that has a chance for a triple crown this weekend? Anybody still alive? No. no. There you go. That was, there's not going to be a triple. There's not going to be a triple crown uh, in the pro division, men or women. That was the easiest prep work I've done all week. <laughs> We've got a timeout at eight seven. Fudge and Trong will use the timeout. We'll get a quick Takea hydration break. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Yola, for the champion in you. By Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand. And by Paddle Tech, the paddle of champions. Let's go again. Remembering back here in Naples, Florida, as we continue on with our coverage of this match joint in progress, women's quarterfinal. And right now, just one point separating these two teams for a berth in the semis. Fudge and Trong use the timeout. And Todd and Newell will reserve, resume the serve at 8 7. Speed up there by Newell and eventually into the net, another point and a 9-7 advantage. That was a good adjustment from Newell. Ball kicked up off the net cord. Looked like she was in trouble there for a second, but got on top of it. Not so lucky that time. No. And this, a huge serve right here, Fudge and Trunk, needing the side out. And they will get it. <laughs> Megan Fudge, who is married to Ryan DeHart. And uh, Ryler. Pardon? Ryla. 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 Oh, Ry Ryla, sorry. And and they uh, live in an RV. They do. <laughs> <laughs> which, is an, which is an interesting way to go about the world. You know what, though? It saves on all the back and forth travel. Yeah, that's true. A lot of driving, though, into the net. I did it for four and a half years running pickleball tournaments. <laughs> I used to head out from Arizona all the way to Naples. Took me a couple weeks. Hopefully you had a sweet RV. I sure did. That was a wasted opportunity. And now back against the wall for Fudge and Trong. Oh, nice oh. get there from Fudge. Really nice. And then Newell. Uh, she was salivating at that one, but puts it into the net. The Franklin X40 replay. I right, we'll watch that. Just ever so slightly too deep there behind Newell. She makes up for it there and that, slides it down the line. Yeah, that takes us to match point. Fudge hits it long, and that's how this one will end. 11-7, Todd and Newell take game three, and they move on to the semifinals.
And the crowd liking what they've seen here on this Friday afternoon. Yeah, Fudge just didn't quite accelerate through that one. It floated on it. She thought it was closer than what it looked, but right there, it looks like it was deep. Oh, that was a Ready for a real cocktail? Grab a Zing Zang Ready to Enjoy Cocktail in a Can, America's number one Bloody Mary mix with vodka. Zing Zang Classic Margarita, tequila included. Mango margaritas made with tequila and real mango puree. And whiskey sours with real Kentucky bourbon. Real cocktails, real ingredients, really good. Zing Zang Full Strength Canned Cocktails. Legendary taste, legendary day. Always ready. Good to see him. Back here in Naples, Florida. Good look at the grounds outside at Championship Court. There are 64 courts being used here in Naples, Florida. Is that is that the uh, same number as last year, or is that, am I wrong? Is it a higher number than 64? Six. No, we actually have 60 courts that we play on here because there's uh, four additional courts okay. on here. Okay, so there are normally 64 there. when there's not the tournament, correct, right? Correct, correct. So 60 courts being used, and it's just, um, man, it, just, it continues to get bigger. And talking to Jim Ludwig, I know that there are plans, and Chad, we talked about this earlier this week. Yep, there, there are plans of building an even more substantial championship court, and uh, they're hoping to be able to get those finalized. Yeah, the, uh, I've had the privilege to, to look at some of those plans uh, over the summer last year, and uh, yeah, championship stadium and entrances into the park and making it look a little bit more like a, a facility than uh, than here in the in the center of of, yeah. <laughs> of, of what it grew up from. <laughs> yeah, and um, you know it'll be great to see that facility or that court go in. Well, you know then have this. I'm guessing what uh, some type of grandstand court or something like that as part of the plans. I heard there's some expansions. So. Yeah, expansions of, uh, of a pro shop and. Yeah, I've heard uh, a 3,000 3, uh, capacity for for the championship court. Yeah, and I think they have visions of while when the US Open isn't here, then they would be using it for concerts and other type of things uh, for the community. I mean, this has come a long way well, from a skate park, and that's, right? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. A couple of tennis courts and a, and a skate park. You know, East Naples Community Park is is definitely the, the center of East Naples. So we will have coverage coming up in just a couple moments as these ladies get their final warm-ups in. The winner of this moving on for a berth in the finals. And of course, that will be played on championship Saturday. And 
Melissa, the the uh, structure of this tournament really has largely remained unchanged. To, you, you get the the mixed doubles, the women's pro doubles, and the men's pro doubles on Championship Saturday. Yeah, right. Um, and and do, has there ever been any talk about kind of maybe moving that same structure with the seniors as well? Has that ever been talked about? Um, no, that uh, hasn't been uh, talked about. What we did, and we did this in year two at the U.S. Open uh, with the seniors, is gave them uh, their own day, if you will. So Wednesday, we highlight and focus um, all the matches from quarterfinals, you know, all the way through to the finals for the men on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we did the same thing for the senior women, play all their quarters, their semis, and their uh, championship matches right here on center court. So uh, a lot of exposure, a lot of opportunity for senior pros here at the U.S open uh, to get the experience uh, that you have that's like no other in pickleball from the electricity uh, and the crowds and the entertainment and the food and just goes on and on for what's available here at the U.S. Open. We did make one change uh, this year, Dave, in the uh, format for the pros, which we've not done in, since the inception. And so the pros for their doubles, mixed and um, in gender doubles, they are playing. If you lose before the semis, the best you can do is fifth. And so if you lose the semis, then you drop down and play for bronze. And of course, the one thing this tournament has had the same every year since 2016, guys, has been the number of volunteers from the refs to the security people to the people that park cars. Um, and just really a volunteer um, uh, uh, showing like few other sports. They, they come out in droves with a smile on their face. They work long hours. If you're in the case of a ref, sometimes you might get berated a little bit. Well, I, I was going to say the refs get berated a little bit, but it's actually the parking volunteers <laughs> that, <laughs> that cop it the hottest. <laughs> and Inga Carr is our referee for this particular match, and she's been around for a while. There are over 500 volunteers, and one of the things that I have always been uh, so impressed by is the volunteers that volunteer here come back yes. year after year after year. My dad is one of them. Uh, he's shuttle driver here again this year. Uh, my mom has done a lot of volunteer work uh, here as well. So it, uh, it's just a place people get excited and they count the 364 days yep. until they can get back to the U.S. Open. One other thing that's uh, special here from a player perspective is Player Village. There's no other place like that. Uh, in all of pickleball and the number of memories that people make the wedding or the marriage proposals that go on out there i'm surprised we've not had a wedding out i haven't there had yet. a wedding out yeah. there I, you know what it, it's funny because you know i've just like yourself been down here every year since 2016 and i pick and choose my times when to walk through the vendor tents and the player village because if i if i feel like talking to people i'll walk that way because you always run into somebody that you've seen over the years or you haven't seen since last year if not then i take the, the longest route possible <laughs> <laughs> around, yeah. around from everybody you know, I, I remember you from the first year as well yeah. and uh, you were here helping you know doing i don't know what all you were doing but every time so, I needed something. I'm like, Chad, you were right there. That, that's Yeah, that's what it was. Actually, the first year, uh, Simone could only only make singles. I flew down on that Sunday and came in just after she'd won gold. But then we moved down here in 2016. And, yeah, I volunteered here in, in 17 and 18 and overrunning the uh, – running running the score sheets as they came out yeah. from the from the pro shop over there. Yeah, we got <laughs> yeah, our, our, our executive producer, Ray Koliakova, who's been here from day one as well, just uh, getting in your headset and saying your son got sponsored. Yeah, he, Ray, just, uh, Ray just sponsored him last night with Ninja Pickleball. So <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, Ray's <laughs> Landon, Landon's all, all excited. He came home. He's like, I don't want the Yola paddles anymore. I got the Ninja. I was think, like, all right. Yeah, think about how far Ray has come from his first phone call with Terry and Chris saying, Pickle what? Didn't, didn't even know now what he, Pickleball he, was. Now, now he's making paddles. <laughs> And we are officially underway here in this uh, women's semifinal. Zhar Jing and Harris in the near court. Humberg and Butler in the far court. And this is uh, Ariel Butler with the serve right now.
Oh. And Chad, are these new partnerships um, with the ladies that are uh, it's a new, Yeah, it's a newer partnership for, for Butler and Hamburg. Zha uh, Jing and Harris started the, the partnership toward the end of 2023, and they're, they're playing predominantly in 2024 together. Oh, oh, wow. Great angle played there by Simone in the side out. You know, Chad, we touched on it yesterday. Um, it, it, is there, you know, we joked a little bit about it, but Simone, I know she looks forward to this tournament, but does she feel pressure with this tournament given that, you know, she, she set a bar for herself that's so high and, oh, yeah, by the way, it's in her backyard. Yeah, there there is a, a, a little bit more pressure as, as far as you're, you're competing in front of, Oh, I'll finish it off to this point. That's a good flick there from Hamburg. Um, you're competing in front of people that you've known for so long, and a lot of them out here were clients uh, at, at some point. Um, but also, it's a it's a little bit more relaxing as well because you're so familiar with the the facility and the conditions here. And you get to go home and sleep in your own bed. That is very true. And she's won 12 pro golds here and two triple crowns. Of course, I had the privilege and pleasure to award Simone or present the Simone, um, an icon award to Simone last uh, month. It's pretty special. That's awesome. So 101 here. Or, I mean, excuse me, 011 here. Simone with the speed up. And then Simone going down the line. And just a little bit wide there. Nice reach in there from Butler. Butler's playing a lot more aggressive than what I've seen her play uh, throughout the last few tournaments. And she's definitely put in a lot of work over the last five, six months. Butler, a former college tennis player and tennis coach before converting to pickleball. And Simone a little bit too deep on that one. The wind not really gusting quite as much right now as it has been the last couple of days. Three, one, one. The wind has been primarily blowing towards the people in the fore, uh, forecourt, the front court. Second server. Move to the second serve. At 3-1. Three, 3-1-2. One. Oh, how about that deception? Yeah, she she hit it and then she executed it. Yeah, just pronated the the wrist and paddle right there as she hit through it. Did Humbug and Humbug and Butler coming in as Four, as one, the seven two. seed? They took out the two seed of Johnson and Rain 11-9, 11-5 in the quarters. Point. And another point. And suddenly it is a 5-1 advantage. Speaking of women's five, doubles one, in the two. pro division, the senior division, we talked about this uh, a little bit at the beginning of our CBS Sports Network Open, which is really yet to run. So people can, can see this. I'm giving you a tease as we had to tape that prior to the live stream today. But um, how about the 28 seed coming through yesterday and winning a bronze medal in the women's senior Doubles. Oh, falls right on the line. Yeah, Marsh and, and Ruoff lost in the first round to Lee Wetwell and, excuse me, Alex Hamner. And then played seven matches in the back draw to come back for bronze. And Melissa, do you, uh, uh, just off the top of your head, can you recall a, a 28 seed ever coming through to medal? I cannot. Slide out. Nice ball there from Harris stepping in. Good forehand roll. Butler just a little outstretched. Couldn't pick one, it up on the half volley. One. So Simone taking over the serve and she and Harris needing to get something done here. And that's not going to do it. Were they under seated? Who is that? Yesterday? Uh, Marsh and Ruoff? Yeah. yeah, no. I, uh, they wouldn't have been under seated. That was uh, the right spot for them. I mean, it's the U.S. Yeah, Open. You never know who's going to rise to the occasion on any given day. They are.
professional players, you know, so yesterday was their day. Yeah, that was, that was fun to see. I'd like, like to take this moment to thank all of the U.S. Open volunteers who are so proud of the to make your U.S. Open experience a memorable one. Please put your hands together for our volunteers. We expected to be good how rating systems work, and uh, so they should, you know, uh, move up a bit. So 162 now with Harris taking over the serve. Side out. And the side out, you don't want to give it away. There was a, a little Six, bit of a one, brief one. stoppage there before Harris served it. Don't know if that played at all into her misfiring, but right now this is a big hole for Harris and Jarjing. And it just got deeper. And I was just taking a look at this seed. We got um, Six seed in Simone and Allison, and seven seed in Ariel, Butler, and Mari Humberg. So we should see seven, quite the match one, here today. One. Second server. Yeah, Harris and Humberg beat the three seed of Oshiro and Ba. 12-10, 9-11, 12-10. Butler and Humberg. No. <laughs> no, Shaqing and Harris beat Oshiro <laughs> and Ba to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I wasn't talking Eight, about Butler and Humber. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you said Harris. <laughs> you said Harris. That kind of, that kind of threw me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, dude. That one, did that catch the line? No, that ball just missed wide. So 9-1. Nine, nine this is... Receivers. um. Nine, one, Not the two, way that Simone and Allison were hoping to see this thing get started. Well, Hamburg and Butler have come out, and this is probably the most aggressive that I've seen wow. both of them play. Hamburg is usually a little play, always on the aggressive side with her flicks and her rolls, but right now they're like both coming out the aggressive. Official bag and also oh, paddle tag. The official paddle of the Minto the U.S. Out. Open Pickleball oh, Championships powered by... Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Takea, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, save the date, April 26th to May 3rd, 2025. Next year it will be even warmer here, but temperatures really have not been an issue this week, guys. This has been the, maybe the best tournament long weather that we've seen in the run of this event. It's the only uh, U.S. Open in eight years now that has not had rain. And we're not going to have it. We still have another As I'm knocking yeah. on wood. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I haven't checked the forecast for tomorrow. Wow, what a great shot there by Humberg. And that's going to take us to game point. 10 1 2. Hmm. And that will finish game. off game one in a decisive 11 to 1 throttling by Butler and Humberg over Jarjing and Harris. They'll change hands, and Harris and Jarjing hoping that will change the results. One more look at the final point of game one. Don't go anywhere. Game two coming your way after this quick timeout from East Naples Community Park.
done for the day, and so is my shoulder. Reach for Arnicare when sore muscles take you out of the game. This scientifically formulated pain reliever has no strong medicine smell, no greasy residue, and can be applied directly to where it hurts. Arnicare is powered by Arnica, an ingredient that has been trusted for centuries to provide relief for muscle pain, stiffness, and bruising. Don't let pain stop you from doing what you love. Reach for Arnicare and get back into the game. Available where you shop. with Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. At first, it was just a team. Now I can't imagine my life without them. That coach changed our son on the field and off. Fifth Avenue South in Naples, Florida. Bring your wallet, <laughs> but, but you also will enjoy the views. It is a fantastic stretch of road. Goes right over to the Gulf of Mexico. Welcome back inside East Naples Community Park on this Friday, everybody. Dave Benz, Melissa McCurley, Chad Edwards, glad to have you along. Just a programming note for you, by the way. Uh, the live stream, we will have a hard off time at 3 p.m. today. Regardless of where we are in a match, we will have a hard 3 p.m. off time for the live stream today. That is because they have to reconfigure the truck and uh, get everything set up for the live broadcast on CBS Sports Network, which goes on at 4 Eastern. And it's not as easy as just flicking a switch. So the, the stream will end it for the hard off at 3 p.m. So save your griping. Hopefully we're not in the middle of something good, but uh, that, that, that is what it's going to take to get it over to CBS. So, Chad, what do you think needs to happen here with Simone and Allison to have a different outcome in game two? Well, I think they have to, you know, choose some better options as far as being able to move Butler and Humburg around. Butler and Humburg started the, started the, the attack and, and really got Jing and Harris back on, on their heels in game one. They weren't able to do much. Great job by Simone to keep a couple oh. of balls alive. Pretty sure Humburg hit an out ball right there. What a lob by Simone and the tweener by Humberg. <laughs> Humberg. Humberg is one of the few females that we consistently see hit a tweener. She hit a tweener earlier on in the week in Pearl Split mixed stage with, uh, with Dave Weinbach. Crowd loved it. Simone took advantage of her being defenseless after hitting it, and then that shot down the line. Go ahead and hashtag that SC top 10. Yeah, the, and the crowd loves a good tweener. I mean. yeah. <laughs> we had a tweener yesterday as well. Who hit the tweener yesterday, Chad? Uh, I was just trying to think back on that one. I don't know if it was. Oh, it was no. Sarah Mitten. Yes, it was. There you go. Sarah Mitten. You were watching the broadcast. That's why you remember. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Make sure, I was just checking in on you guys. You always do such a great job. Great court coverage here. Simone and Allison end up on opposite sides. Chad, I love to see what Simone's doing here with the lob. So she tried it uh, going the opposite way in, in game one and was expecting the wind to knock it down, but it wasn't, and she pushed a couple deep. Now she's just throwing it up and letting the wind use it and push it deep. Humberg and Butler taking a timeout here in Naples. 
The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Nature Made, the official vitamin of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Arnicare, fragrance-free pain and bruise relief. Up your game without the pain. Available where you shop. And by Franklin, the official bag of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And remember, you can purchase the official U.S. Open Pickleball Championships apparel at kitchpickleball.com. Inside Zing Zang Championship Court on this Friday. And I mentioned the wind's not quite as severe as it has been the last couple of days. And then I look up and I see two flags. Two, there. two flags <laughs> are wrapped around the cable up there now. So see if the timeout here can stall the momentum of Jarjing and Harris. Both back on the baseline and now get up to the kitchen line. Oh, excellent defense there from Second Butler. Seven. Getting them back into that point. Couple of tough balls dug out from the feet. Two-handed in between the legs from the feed. That, uh, she made it look easy. Four, one, two. On a little confusion there on middle coverage. Yeah, Zhe Jing looking to step in and speed up that forehand. One, Harris four, taking one. a step to the left. Was going to hit a backhand. Excellent defense again there from Butler, but stepping in on the backhand there trying to speed it up wasn't in the best position to try to do so. Oh, tough angle and ultimately into the net, so Humberg and Butler inch a point closer here. Two, four, two. Good Side leave out. there from judging Humbug trying to roll that one, but just a little too aggressive. Mari Humberg, originally from Brazil. Now resides Four, two, in Louisville, one. where she played college tennis. <laughs> Somebody just towing that line. And her partner making sure she didn't get over the line, because the momentum can take you into there. Yeah, Zhe Jing tried that speed up a couple of times on Butler. Butler was able to defend it back toward Harris previously, but that one Zhe Jing able to slide over. Play a little more aggressively in the middle. And a little unlucky there from Humburg catching the net. That ball pushed out wide. So Jing and Harris being a lot Six, more aggressive two, here in game two compared to game one. Now it's Butler and Humburg that are back on their heels a little bit. Oh. And again, right there. Yeah, how good is that? The backhanded rip down the line. Yeah, it's a tough ball there for Butler to pick up. Excellent drop from Harris. You know, if she reaches in to take that out of the air, good chance of popping it up. And that one, she just didn't back up fast enough Seven, or give herself two, enough one. separation off that bounce. Oh, Humberg will snap Second with the backhand and play the angle perfectly. Yeah, very strong wrist here from Humberg finding an extremely tough angle Seven, to get two, back. Two. 
Another lob, but that time side it out. does go long. And the side out, so back over to Humberg and Butler at 2-7. 2-7-1. Two, seven. Two, seven, to the net at 3-7. Harris trying to reach in, speed that one up. Just a little too far back behind the kitchen line there, had to step in by the time she got there, it was already dropping too far and up flattening out. Ooh. So Humbug and Harris actually used to be, were partners in 2023. So Humbug's able to read Harris's forehand that she hits kind of inside Three, out seven, as she slides seven. it down the line. Good defense from Humbug just to keep him in that point. Yeah. Butler side couldn't out. catch up to that one and a side out. Seven, three, one. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive out of Simone. I thought Humberg had a winner. Simone had other ideas. Well, that was pretty much the only shot that Zha Jing had there from that one. one minute. Butler didn't think she was going to be able to shape it back in. It almost looked like a transition zone ATP. Yeah. And that's going to bring a timeout out of Butler and Humberg here in Naples, Florida. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, powered by Margaritaville, are brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's by Fat Tire, crisp, clean, and refreshing. The perfect post-play beer. By Zing Zang, the number one Bloody Mary brand is on fire with Zing Zang Blazing Bloody Mary. And by Deco Turf, the official pickleball court surface of the US Open Pickleball Championships. Welcome back inside Zing Zang Championship Court on Fat Tire Friday. The Fat Tires have yet to make an appearance uh, our way here at the booth. Might not be a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know. It could improve things. <laughs> yeah, it, it always improves things. <laughs> well, remind everybody, Skechers is the official shoe of the U.S. Open. Make sure you check them out online at your local shoe store official pickleball shoe. These are actually sketches that I have on. You can't even tell. Really? Nice. Yep. So are mine. So are mine. We all got sketches on. <laughs> Heck yeah. So they've, they've expanded the, their lineup. Loving it. So 8-3 out of the timeout. Last time Butler and Humber called a timeout. It worked to their advantage, but not that time. Nine, three, one. And there it is, into the net to make it 10-3. And game point to get us to a third game. That one just died on the paddle of Zha Jing. Trying to be... Nice and, and crafty with it. Add a little bit more spin, but it just didn't carry. Oh, oh, excellent <laughs> defense yeah, from yeah, yeah. <laughs> Harris and Zha Jing. Yeah, they won it with defense for sure. Yeah, but when they started off, they came in, Chad, to your point, more aggressive yes. in game two. Yeah, they put more pressure on, moved the ball around, but it took the opportunities to speed up. And this time, flipping the script. So going into game three, see who comes out more aggressive. Yeah, both have been one side at 11-1 in game one, 11-3 in game two. Who will take game three? We'll find out after this quick timeout. 
Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going! Well, there we are with our Skechers footwear, the official shoe We're all, of the U.S. All wearing them, Open but yeah, you can't. You, these are these are a Mark Nason line from from Skechers. So they've they've gone into the skate type shoe. They've got their running shoes, their court shoes, basketball now, baseball cleats. Mine's a running pair, and they're very nice and soft. They're, and very that, that is one thing with sketches. There's plenty of cushioning on the insoles. <laughs> well, I just got one my pair this two. week. I haven't been on the pickleball court yet with them, but I'm dying to get out there tomorrow night. Usually the, the traditional uh, post-tournament you know, soiree with, the, with our crew, <laughs> we get out there on championship court on Saturday night. So I'll have a chance to test them out then. Oh, again, Allison Harris all over the court with the defense. You know, she's, uh, it's been about a, not even a year that she's been in pro pickleball. And when she first came in, that was one of the standouts is that her ability to just get so many balls back. She didn't start playing pickleball till COVID. Former tennis player resides in Nashville into the net there. And the side out is it was the opening serve opportunity there of this game. Zero, two, game one. three for Burt in the finals here. Uh, excellent ball there from Butler to set up the pop-up off of the paddle of Harris. Humbug nice and controlled with the put away down the line. One, two, one. So right now, the biggest thing for Butler and Humburg is they're taking balls out of the air, taking away the recovery time for Judging and Harris, one. specifically Harris right now. They're really dialed in on getting the balls to her feet. Misfire, though, serve. we'll move it to the second serve. And I know that's usually always a pretty two, high two, percentage two. shot as far as success and trying to take it and put a, a little off pace down through the middle on a player's backhand. Well, that ball just Four. wide. So Butler and Humberg will forge in front here. We will get an Three, end two, change two. at six. Two. 
Oh, I think Butler hit an out ball. Side, side out. out. Two, three, one. That ball just a little too high off the butler's paddle. She was trying to be aggressive and go wide cross court, but it sat up. Nice speed up from Harris. Three, three, one. Speed up from Harris. Nice reset. Oh, and that's Simone. Yeah, and that's a, a lot of success she's been having with that particular shot. Well, and that's a shot that she works on a lot. And what she's looking for there is that dead a dink in the middle of the court. She speeds it back up at Butler. And what she's going to do is then go to the backhand if that comes back. Humberg smashes that Second one serve. through the five hole on Simone. And Chad, I know um, we all loved your insights on uh, pickleball, and so both <laughs> ladies are, are doing some stacking here. And people don't always think about doing that in women's doubles unless you're playing with the lefty. Well, yeah, and we're starting to see that more and more on both the women's side and the men's side. I'll take you know, Allison Harris, for example. She doesn't like to play on the left at all. If you see her on the left, she runs around the back end and hits an inside out forehand dink. So she's much more comfortable with that forehand dink. So they're going in the stack. And the same with Butler. Butler's a very good right side player as well. And then Humburg and Zha Jing, more aggressive. But how about the get there from Butler? Gets a back on Zha Jing as she goes for the poach. But yes, we are, we are seeing Three, five, a lot one. less of, of playing straight up and more stacking in, in men's and women's doubles, as, as long with, you know, obviously, mixed doubles. Yeah. Oh, Simone! Humberg got caught off guard as it goes right by her into the corner. A good step over there from Zha Jing. Read it nicely. Butler and Harris going back and forth at each other with that cross court. Zha Jing chose the right ball and went right over the left shoulder of Humburg. Well, that ball sailed. I don't want too many of those unforced errors, especially a missed return. Chance to draw even here in this third game. Oh, well, I think Zha Jing hit an out ball too, but yeah. it ended up working in the favor. And that's one thing that Humbug is really, really good at. She's so strong with the wrist and is able to flick a lot of balls from down low. At times, she's a little too aggressive with that flick and it kind of flattens out and sails on it. But it's always that weapon and it's very dangerous when a ball's coming from your shoelaces. Like that one, but a good job from Harris getting a paddle on it. And clips the net cord. And then clips the wrist of Butler. So we've got an end change at 6-4. Zha Jing and Harris with a two-point advantage here in game three. Minto US Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Latitude, Margaritaville, and Minto. Change your latitude to the active adult paradise of Latitude, Margaritaville. By Skechers Pickleball. Experience comfort that performs with the Viper Court Pro. By Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast and by Margaritaville Hotels and Resorts. Check in and chill out at margaritavilleresorts.com. Gorgeous Friday afternoon here in Naples, Florida. As we continue on with our 
Women's Pro Doubles Division semi-final. Mari Humberg and Ariel Butler took game one 11-1. Simone Jarjing and Allison Harris stormed back to take game two 11-3, and now here we are at 6-4. And guys, the uh, total scoring in this match, if you count all the points that have been scored in the three games, is dead even right now. Oh. A nice ball there from Harris again. Butler trying to be aggressive and push Harris out wide, but if the timing's off a little bit or the wrist, we get a little too much hinge in it, that ball sits up. Well played lob. Yeah. Oh, Harris using the lob this time and just corkscrewed Butler into the court. Did a good job getting the first ball, but couldn't pick up in the transition area. And now Butler and Humberg are going to use the timeout at 8-4. Here in Naples, Jarjing and Harris three points away. The Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Gamma Pickleball, the official grip of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Yola for the champion in you. By Southern Tide, the premium coastal lifestyle brand. And by Paddle Tech, the paddle of champions. Let's go again. When did they start playing together? Uh, so, Zha Jing and Harris uh, actually played a tournament in New Jersey last year. Um, and then at the end of the year decided to play 2024 together. But we met Allison uh, up in Nashville uh, around June of last year. And some clients of ours up there brought her into a clinic and asked our recommendation of should she turn pro or not. And then the a couple of weeks later, she was in the, a tournament in Cincinnati and, and never looked back. That's great. So the answer was yes. Oh, yes. the answer was, yeah. <laughs> she was in the tournament with, in the clinic with four fives and five L's, and she was just ripping balls on everybody. We're like, what, what is she doing in the clinic right now? <laughs> <laughs> Unfriendly net for Humberg there, 9-4 now. Oh, right off the edge of the paddle. Humbug trying to be aggressive right there, and it's a good ball. But Judging and Harris, the balls that they were missing in game one, they're now getting paddles on. And when you see that kind of reaction out of Simone, who has a heart of a champion, that really gets the crowd going. So here we go, match point for birth in the gold. <laughs> Simone rushed it and trying to poach it and he puts it in there and it looks over at Chad. No, she just said I wanted that one so bad. <laughs> Match point yeah. number two. And there yeah. it is. <laughs> And look at Simone moving on now to an opportunity to add to the number of gold medals she has here at the U.S. Open. So I, other than 2016, I'm trying to think if she has missed a women's doubles final here at the U.S. Open. Can't remember. Um, <laughs> and that might have been 2019, maybe. Well, all I know is uh, she, she may not been a she she may not have been a top five five seed this year, but no doubt she was a crowd favorite. Everybody wanted to see her play in the championship, and they will get their wishes as they win it. One eleven, eleven three, eleven four.
You know, if you're going to lose that first game, don't maybe not exert much energy in doing it. <laughs> no, but that's just an example of you can, you know, be, uh, be beat 11 to 1 and then come back and win any match. Never we, give up. We will uh, take a momentary break, and when we come back, we will turn to the men here on Zing Zing Championship Court. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only Paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. Stats from our semi-final match. Zha Jing and Harris. A little bit cleaner on the unforced errors, but larger number on the outright winners. After game one, it looked like Butler and Hamburg were in complete control, but Zha Jing and Harris flip the script and move on to championship Saturday. So we take a look at the crowd. Only going to get busier as the day goes on. We've got a men's doubles match between J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier going up against Kyle Yates and William Sobeck. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with more action here from the 2024 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships.
Jar Jing over here getting some love from Melissa McCurley and Chad Edwards after that impressive win in women's pro doubles. And she and her teammate well, I believe it was, it was 2021 she didn't make women's doubles. Uh, I don't, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to go back in my reference. Well, all I know is we need to, we've got time to sort that out, guys. We need to turn our attention to the men. Well, I'll, I'll do research for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've got some research being done as well. So hopefully we're going to, tomorrow we're going to have some impressive numbers. But we were talking about Anna Lee Waters earlier. William Solbeck and Anna Lee used to play together when they were 12 and 13. And I am on their list of being beat by a 12 and 13 year old. <laughs> they came from behind and were aggressive and took us down. William Solbeck has won a couple of won a couple of medals on the tours in 2023. And he and Anna Lee played here at the U.S. Open and, and as amateurs. Yeah, 2019, 5-0 mixed doubles, 19 to 49. And we'll. And, and, the, and the, there is some tape of that that we may get to before the weekend is up. Uh, we mentioned at the top, just so you know, uh, if this match goes past 3 p.m. Eastern, I mean, if it's on game point, we'll, we'll, we'll obviously not cut out. But if it's... Oh, it's eight, hot. It's, it's hot. Six, Curtain's six, coming six, down at 3 o'clock. <laughs> we, 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 we <laughs> got, we've got to drop out because we've got to be ready for the CBS uh, Sports Network right. broadcast uh, that goes live at 4 Eastern. Seven. So... Serving Hopefully we can uh, get all of this Fraser. one in as we are getting it underway here from Day Naples. Zero, getting us started, uh, Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. Kyle Yates and William okay. Sobeck in the near court. He's good, thank you, sir. Yeah, originally, Point. Yates called that one out as it went past him, but Saw that it just clipped the line, so overturned his call. So Johnson and Frazier up 1-0. Oh, nice hands there from Solbeck. Oh, we've seen Johnson and Frazier over the years Zero, one, making one. their way to the top of pickleball. And they're so difficult to try to attack and, and get the ball through. The hands are so fast, but an excellent job from Solbeck there. The speed up by Yates, but ultimately doesn't work out the way he had hoped. That was a nice two. sitter right there for <laughs> Dylan Frazier. He's not going to complain about that one at all. Side out. And a side out will get the serve back. One zero one. Over to Johnson and Frazier. So Solbeck trying to go there for the Oni, takes a swing at it. And you know, we've been seeing Sobek play in this tournament since he was an amateur, just a, a young teenager. And you know, Kyle Yates is a four, five time men's pro doubles US Open champion winning four in a row. Off the net and into Sobek for another point. Of course Sobek from a good pickleball family. Yeah, he's been playing since he's like three or four years old. And down in Key West. His father, Rusty, has played on this court. Oh, uh, well, how good is that shot? Second serve. That was a tough get there from Johnson off to Yates. Pulled him out so wide Three, with a nice two. backhand flick. But Solbeck there to take it straight down the line. The ATP well defended. 
Oh, uh, just missed it. Yeah, he did. A little bit too much on that one. Going back 2016, did you... Well, we talk about this all the time. Did you ever think that the game would be moving this Four, quick? Zero, and the, the shots that these players can pull off now compared to 15, 16? Uh, absolutely not. Um, you know, and you can see somebody, some people post videos about comparisons yeah. of like a national championship in 2014 and then what it is today. <laughs> you know? I mean, guys, that, 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 those, that first year, even maybe the first two years, you know, it was a lot of... A lot more dinking and a lot more people waiting for an unforced error than for, for, looking for an opportunity to be able to create a winner. Yeah, the game was just much more slower. The pace is... Second serve. Well, that's, that's, that's come down to the paddle Zero, technology four, because how hard Fraser and Johnson were just hitting those balls right there. Even if you're swinging 100%, 15, 16, 17, even 18, balls were not coming off that quick. Yeah, 10 years ago, Chad, there were two paddle manufacturers. I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the technology just had a, a lot of room for growth, and we've seen it explode to now there's thousands of paddle, uh, paddle manufacturers. The sponsorships have grown, the money has grown, the players interested in the sport serve. is growing, and into the net to move to the second serve here. 4 0 2. This is a semifinal. Winner will go on to play for gold oh a little unlucky there for yates that ball that speed up from frazier clipping the net what we're talking about with the juniors now that there's a lot of juniors that you know, haven't even picked up a tennis racket they're just going straight into pickleball where it used to be the tennis converts were coming over now the youngsters are, are grown up oh kyle yeah. into the net I talk about all the time, pro pickleball as we have today is still paving the path yes. uh, for the future. And all of these pros that are out here today are tr truly pioneers of Six, the game. Zero, two. Speed up by Johnson. Four. Yates couldn't catch up to it. And it is seven nothing. Timeout receiver seven zero two one. Not minute. sure where that feedback is coming from. It, it's actually the golf cart behind us in reverse. They're sitting there waiting for people to go. Oh, it sounded like it was feedback coming through a headset. Yeah, but yeah, okay, well good. We get rid of that. We've got a timeout. It's seven nothing here in Naples. We'll take a quick breather. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville are brought to you by Total Pickleball, your one-stop pickleball shop. Free two-day shipping on the widest selection of products by Franklin X40, the official ball of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. By Takea, hydration is an all-day game. And by the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships, save the date, April 26th to May 3rd, 2025. A look at some of the areas outside Zing Zang Championship Court here at East Naples Community Park. Plenty of pickleball to be watched throughout this facility. Plenty of smiles on the faces of everybody down here. Well, so how many people that come play in this tournament earlier in the week stick around to, to see it through and enjoy it as a spectator once they're done playing? Oh yeah, there's a lot of people that stay to enjoy themselves as spectators, enjoy the beaches in the area, um, and just you know, the, the wonderful weather this time of year. Naples is a great place to be. Both sides showing a lot of patience here. Well, that ball out as well. Yates threw his hands up in the middle of the, that point right there when there was another net cord. He tried to hit that one as hard as he could, so it didn't come back. Well, it didn't come back. No, nope. <laughs> it certainly did not. Point. 
And another, and another net, net caught. <laughs> yeah, and his, you saw and the his don't go long. Yeah, and Kyle, <laughs> Kyle's reaction there was something else. Well, you well, know, the net's part of the game. Exactly. We saw it. Uh, 9 0 2. When, this is Friday, right? Yeah. Wednesday and Thursday, Dave, we saw in the senior pros how many how many net cords there were and it just seemed to favor one team and the other like team is getting extremely frustrated i feel like quarter was the one who got the, really yes. the worst of it yesterday every shot that she hit seemed like it hit a net and that did not go over <laughs> zero nine one so back in yates they're back against the wall here it's zero nine one in this first game ATP nicely defended. Oh, it wow. got it. Oh, wow. So Are you bad. kidding me? Oh. <laughs> William Solbeck with the defense. Some of those gets ridiculous. This one here. Zero, finish nine, by Johnson takes a little bit off it actually and just looks to hit it through the court ball never comes up I feel like Sobek deserved a better fate on that one defends another ATP wow he's getting everything Kyle finally able to get back up to the kitchen. Side out. And just a great court vision by J.W. Johnson. Uh, that's that's one of the things with Johnson and Frazier is that they never really look like they're in any trouble. They're calm, they're controlled. Point. And they're a point away from taking game one. Ten zero one. Wasn't expecting a pickle in game one of this semifinal, but that's what we got. But that doesn't necessarily mean much. Simone and Allison lost their first game 11-1 and came back to win in the match that preceded this. So don't go anywhere. Game two coming your way after this quick timeout from Naples, Florida. All, all top merchant just sent this from two. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed-fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going.
go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. Well, Johnson and Frazier, that is a pretty clean living right there. Just four unforced errors in that first game. And they take it in a pickle. So Yates and Sobek trying to see if they can turn their fortunes around after the end change. They will now have the wind at their backs and start this second game at 0-0-2. Game two, time in, 0, zero 2 And Chad, I know that uh, Yates and Sobeck are going to have to find a way to get off defense and create some offense in this game, too. Well, they tried to do a little bit in game one. Yates pushed a few balls just a little too wide, gave Johnson the round the post opportunities. You know, the, the hard part against Johnson and Frazier is serve. you actually have to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put it to them. But they only Zero, have a couple two. of weak spots. Johnson, you can get him occasionally on an elevated backhand and Frazier on the right hip to right armpit, but it's so tough to get those spots consistently because JW can do that. And right on cue. <laughs> Almost hit it into the armpit. That was... Uh... Does anyone else in pickleball have that shot? That's uh, Not with that much power. JW Johnson just has ridiculously strong fore forearms and wrists and can be full extension and generate a lot of power with that backhand flick. And another one. Point. And quickly a 2 nothing advantage. Two zero two. Three for three. You give him just a little bit of height and you see how much he cranks that wrist back and then just accelerates out. Can hit all parts of the court. Three, zero, two. Good layoff there to make it four, zero. Yates and Sobek, this is unbelievable that they have yet to score a point. Got to get a side out before Four, they can zero, even two. start worrying about that in this game. Point. They're already down five nothing. Five zero two. Oh, oh, he was there. He had the. <laughs> so I saw him do that in nationals against Riley Newman with the around the post, around the post. Right here, Frazier goes to hit the around the post. Yates is there for the around the post to Ernie, but just clips the crank on the net. Oh, oh. JW goes back. Seven nothing. Running overhead right there, splits the middle. Typically, you don't see J.W. Johnson smile too much, but he had a big grin on his face after that one. Yeah, he and Dylan both have just um, smiling all the way through this match. And Ernie by Yates to finally get the serve back. He moved just like that, don't you, Melissa? I do, maybe with a little more Here, speed. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa McCauley was a strong 5-0 player. Back in the day. Back in the day, but I had to give Zero, it all seven, up two. to run a little thing called pickleballtournaments.com. Yates and Sobek, if they don't get a point here and they're not going to, it, it, guys, they precariously could get double pickled here in this semifinals. Not something you would expect. Already down seven, seven zero, nothing, one. and Johnson and Frazier getting the serve back. Johnson and Frazier, this is their 26th serve of the match. They've got 18 points on the first 25. Make it 19 out of 26. Uh, it's just a, such a good setup there from Johnson, and that's typically what we'll see. He'll use that backhand flick and go straight to the forehand. 
This time he catches Yates in the middle, sliding back over. Second serve. Yeah, and you can say that, you know, they don't make too many errors. 8-0-2. They did drop a game earlier today. Actually, check that. I'm looking at uh, the wrong scoreboard there, but the oh. number one seed. They're playing like the one seed, that's for sure. And an important side out for Yates Zero, and Sobek. You just need to get a point on the board. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. A Bronx cheer yes. here in Naples. <laughs> and a standing ovation from Cal Yates' mom, Julie. Just out. Serve. Johnson this time going straight into the body of Yates with that flick. One, eight, two. I thought you said he didn't smile much. He's got a big smile right now. The ATP defended. And then the unforced air. Yeah, two forehands there from Johnson that had gone into the net. It's a little overextended. Yes, Sobek has defended at least two, eight, three two. ATPs in this match. Johnson's so calm and relaxed right there. I don't think he moved his feet on any of those rolls. He's reaching in, using the strength, acceleration. There's that flick of the wrist again. And what a weapon he's got. And I tell you, I don't know that I've ever seen J.W. Johnson I haven't seen him smile this. like this in like a whole year. No, I've never seen him this loose <laughs> wow. and having as much fun out on the court. It's good to see. Nine to one. Frazier, meantime, trying to get them a point away. And indeed, they are point. a point away. Match point. And just a little tidbit, Dylan Frazier played against William Sobeck in 2019 as amateurs with Dylan getting gold and William Silver. Yeah, and you've got a photo. I know you sent it to our crew, so we'll see if we can work that in a little bit later on in our coverage. And this second one will serve. need a second opportunity. Nice speed up there by Kyle Yates. 10-2-2. 10-2-2. And there it is. This time it's Frazier with the flick of the wrist. And Johnson and Frazier are moving on to play for gold after they take it 11 nothing and 11 2. And guys, uh, this match started at 2.09 Eastern, and we were a little bit worried that maybe it might not make our 3 o'clock uh, cutoff. 
The entire match lasted 26 minutes. Wow. It kind of reminds me of the very first U.S. Open that we had in 2016, where the gold medal match lasted 20 minutes. We'll be back with our final thoughts on the first half of our broadcast day. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Margaritaville, it's not just a state of mind. Now, it's a place to live. Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at latitudemargaritaville.com. Here on Florida's Paradise Coast, you can't help but think, if only every beach was this beautiful. If only every adventure was this exciting. If only every dinner was this special. If only every sky was this dramatic. All of which proves one thing. When you want a vacation to deliver only the finest of everything, only Paradise will do. Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades, Florida's Paradise Coast. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. I got it. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Margaritaville. You can go to Margaritaville too. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com. A look at the final numbers from that match and the men's pro doubles semifinals. That's that's a number of unforced errors for Johnson and Frazier. They're at nine. That typically it's uncommon to see in one game, let alone two games going through right there. I mean, just the, the scoring efficiency was unbelievable uh, as well. They just, um, they did everything right. They're the one seed for a reason. And right now, uh, they, they're looking like they're going to be awfully tough to beat as they, they buy for gold and now will be playing for the gold tomorrow here at East Naples Community Park. Yeah, it'll be exciting to see. And I think one stat we didn't see there, Chad, is how much smiling was going on on that court. <laughs> Something we don't see a lot that, of. There was guys. a lot of that coming from J.W. Johnson that typically we don't see. Usually he's, uh, he's talking to himself under his breath. And, and uh, you know, I mentioned it as we went to break, but you're hard-pressed a lot of times at this level to see a game finish in 26 minutes, let alone an entire match. That was just, the, uh, 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 they steamrolled their way to, to the goal. They did. We don't see it often, but I mentioned to you when we were off camera, Dave, that in 2016, when we had our men's doubles pro gold medal match here, when Kyle Yates and uh, Dave Weinbach were playing, that match lasted like 22 minutes, and it was a gold medal match. I can remember being over in the tournament operations here in, yeah. here in the you know match called, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me, 22 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> You're like, get some other people out there on the court. And uh, so we're kind of waiting to see. We have until 3 o'clock with our window to stay on with the stream. So uh, they may try and put another match, uh, perhaps the wheelchair exhibition. Well, I think we have out. a yeah. wheelchair exhibition coming out there. Yeah. Have you ever tried that, by the way? I have not. But It I is ridiculously difficult to try to coordinate the movement and have the paddle and hit the ball because what you want to do is the ball is here and you have a tendency to push your left hand to try to go forward and then you go that way. <laughs> so you have to you have to do the opposite direction on the wheel to get to the ball and think about hitting it. 
It's th th these guys make it make it look pretty easy, but it's not that easy at all. No, not it, even it, with two bounces. Yeah, right? I was gonna say it's two bounces, right? It's right. been a, been a little bit since uh, since I've seen the wheelchair division. But yeah, the two. But even with the two bounces, even, even with the two bounces and the fact that their front wheels can be in the kitchen, it's just their back wheels on the kitchen line. But it, it's these guys are phenomenal, and I've I've I watched some in England when we were at the English Open last year. We see it here at the U.S. Open. The U.S. Open, uh, we see one able-bodied person and one wheelchair as well in some of these with these wheelchair divisions. And let me see if I can bring up pickleballbrackets.com and uh, see if I can possibly find the uh, the match that we're about to see here on championship court. As we kind of this is bonus coverage, we weren't we weren't planning on a 26-minute semifinal. Uh, so while I'm looking, uh, let's talk about the rules here. I mean, everything is the same aside from the two bounces and the, and the wheels with the kitchen, right? Right. They can also have their front wheels can go into the kitchen. So that would not be a fault. It would be a fault as if their back wheels went in. We obviously will not be bringing you the entire match here as they still have to warm up and we have to be off at 3 o'clock. But give you a little a look at what it what it's like out there. Yeah, and this is a division. Wheelchair is one that is continuing to grow across the country as well. So it's really exciting to watch. Um, the U.S. Open does a great job at highlighting and uh, uh, the wheelchair events, and not just the wheelchair event, but every event that's played here on Zing Zang Championship Court. What kind of uh, registrations are you getting, Melissa, for this division? Yeah, so it grows a little bit uh, each year. Um, on here, I believe we had about 10 and uh, that were playing in this particular uh, tournament. We did have the standing and wheel wheelchair uh, division. We called that the hybrid division earlier this week. What's the difference between the, the wheelchair and the hybrid? Uh, one person is in the wheelchair and one person is standing. The, the hybrid is the, the one that I was talking about with one able-bodied able person and one, one wheelchair. Well, there's a look at them uh, getting in their final warm-ups and uh, we are told we are gonna step aside now before they, they get this one underway. Th thank uh, everybody out there for tuning into this stream. Don't forget, four o'clock Eastern, CBS Sports Network is where you wanna be uh, for our continuing coverage of this Fat Tire Friday from Naples, Florida. For Melissa McCurley and Chad Edwards and our entire crew here in Southwest Florida, I'm Dave Ben saying so long. Thanks for watching our continuing coverage of the 2024 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships.